Hey guys, today I'm gonna be making a video how to jailbreak um, your iPod Touch using the tethered jailbreak. I tried using the semi tethered, as you can see. There it is, my iPod. I don't know how to use the semi tethered jailbreak, it doesn't work for me. Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to use um, the full tethered jailbreak. So, first of all, you're gonna plug your iPod in. Okay, like that. And your best friend iTunes is probably gonna pop up. So go ahead and close iTunes. Okay. Now what you're gonna want to do is open up the RSL Lite folder that um, I put in the description. Um, you could either make and you could either make your own file, your own IPSW if you don't trust me using Ponage Tool, or you could just use mine. I well, it is actually the same exact file that ties iPhone Hope, except I added um, my own um, reboot file um, for easy rebooting. But I'll upload this to like SendSpace or Mega Upload, so it would just be in the description. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is um, just open up the README, just so you don't have to type in all these commands. All you have to do is copy and paste them. Now you're gonna open up Terminal. Okay, now what you're going to do is put your iPod into DFU mode, so you're basically going to hold the home and power for 10 seconds, let go of the power and hold the home for um, 10 more seconds. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, let go of that, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your iPod's in DFU mode. It's not going to be responsive. Don't unplug it. Don't do any of that. You're going to want to make sure that you have your RSL Lite folder on your desktop. Um, it just makes this whole process easier. So now what you're going to do is you're going to copy that first CD space wiggly line slash desktop slash RSL Lite. Copy and paste that into. Um, into terminal okay so it should look just like that press enter what this does is it um, puts all these terminal commands through the RS Lite folder first now you're gonna scroll down you don't have to worry about this um, this right here just scroll down and you're gonna type in or copy and paste it like me and it's Apple C to copy and Apple V to paste um, now you're gonna wanna make sure your iPod is in DFU mode before you put in this command so mine is so put that in it's gonna say DFU mode right here if it doesn't say DFU mode then you made a mistake if it says recovery uh, make sure that you had your iPod plugged in when you did that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, copy this um, exclamation point I capital B capital S capital S two two one one dot DFU so paste um, sorry I didn't copy it make sure that you um, copy the whole thing always you might get some wrong stuff so my iPod just turned white okay don't type in any more commands right now okay so just press OK and just close the window do not close the whole I quit the whole iTunes prog program I get some bugs when I do that so now you're gonna wanna reconnect to your iPod so put in the dot slash RS Lite again it's gonna connect. Your iPod's gonna still be white. Now you're gonna want to do this um, pound pawn two 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 one one dot ip uh, ibss dot text. What this is is the red snow patch. So yeah, make sure you copy and paste it because I'm not doing that. Okay. So your iPod's gonna stay white. It's not gonna do anything. Okay. Now what you're gonna want to do is copy and paste this now for this when you put it in now watch your iPod's gonna turn off and turn back on okay then your best friend iTunes is gonna pop up because it's telling you that you're jailbreaking um, now your iPod should be white if your iPod turned off but never turned back on um, you're just gonna have to redo this process and that's probably because you totally quit the program iTunes you just wanna close the window now when you do that um, after you do that, 
Okay. After you put in this last command, you're going to want to go into iTunes and do not close the terminal window. Um, you're going to you're going to hold down the alter option key and click restore. Now, you're going to go into the RS Lite folder and choose the 211pwn.ipsw. What this is is this is the um the IPSW that has been jailbroken by Ty's iPhone help. He this is his file. I just made a couple of tweaks to it. To the um I just added this um uh where is it? Oh, I added this I iPod reboot file um just to e help you um with the um with rebooting. So you're gonna click open and you're gonna wait a second, it's gonna extract all the software. Basically what this is doing is unzipping the IPSW and it's gonna send it to your iPod touch. So hold on. Okay, your iPod should have the Apple logo right now. Um, if you get any errors um, during this process, you probably forgot to type in one of these codes. So you're just going to have to go back to the beginning of this video, um, and it should be there. Okay, you guys, I'm going to restart. I'm going to keep going this video. I'm actually going to make a part two. Um, the part two will be in the description. So um, there you go, guys. And um, you should see this. And when your iPod is, um, when it's rebooting, it will say in iTunes that it's going to reboot, but it's not. Make sure you don't unplug this and do not close the terminal window, okay? Don't close the terminal window. Um, and if the part two isn't up yet, it will be up uh, in like 30 minutes after this, after this video, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and, um, just so you know, the computer is going to finish a lot before the iPod like the status bar, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and comment and subscribe.